them. The story with the basketball scandal, shall we call it, at Rutgers University, leading to the firing of head coach Mike Rice, the athletic director also stepping down, uh, an assistant stepping down. It had a, it, it was more than a ripple effect, but it is uh, still very much in the news. Thomas Lavecchia is an MBA. He's a Rutgers University alum. He's also a leadership expert. Thomas joining us here on New York Sports and Beyond. Welcome to the show, Thomas. Thanks for having me, Bill. So, first of all, let me get your impression of the Mike Rice situation as a Rutgers alumni before we get into the leadership aspect of it. Give me your take on that. Well, frankly, it's embarrassing as an alum as a citizen of New Jersey, not just from a you know PR standpoint, but even just frankly from a you know person who believes in the university and loves the university. The rent are just embarrassing. How about from the standpoint of this kind of stuff goes on in other programs? Would you be surprised to hear that kind of thing? Well, it does go on in other programs, but in this case a, a clear line has been crossed. These are kids. These are student athletes. They're getting uh, yelled at them, getting yelled at, getting pushed. Just not acceptable. There's a way to do it and a way not to. Now, Thomas, let me ask you have you ever played a, a team sport in high school, college, or any place else? Yes, I have. And what sport was that? I'm just curious. Yeah, I played baseball and basketball. Okay. Uh, Where'd you play basketball? Right now I'm real curious. It's baseball. Baseball is a different kind of animal. Baseball, uh, and I'm not telling you anything when I say this, but baseball is more of a day-to-day existence. You don't get dialed up, hyped up for an event as you do in football, basketball, and even to a lesser degree in hockey. Would you agree with that? Yeah, that's correct. I agree. So uh, from, just from your personal experience, I'm sure that the coaching you received as a baseball player was vastly different than what you received as a basketball player? Yes, the intensity level is much different. Um, you look more faster in the sport, such as basketball, like you said. You really dial it up quickly. It's very heated. Um, there's a lot of exchanges, a lot of elbows flying. So you have to get a bit more aggressive than you are. It's, a, it's overall a more physical game, correct? That's correct. Yeah, this is, this is why I, I'm wondering why people are surprised that what they saw in the Mike Rice video uh, existed in big-time basketball. Well, here's the thing. So, in, in my book, The X Factor Selling System, we dedicate a whole chapter to passion. So we all agree that you have to be passionate about what you do. Otherwise, you know, otherwise, why do it? But in this particular case, they do display passion, but they also display a lack of ethics on how to express their passion. And that's the bigger issue here, Bill. Thomas Lavecchia is a, a leadership expert. He's also an alumni of Rutgers University as we weigh in on the basketball scandal that has uh, caused firings and resignations at Rutgers University this past week, all focused around the actions of uh, head coach Mike Rice, who uh, was dismissed earlier this week. So give me an idea, Tom, if you would, of how we approach this in the 21st century, because I think what, what we all understand here is what was acceptable 10, 15, 20 years ago is no longer acceptable, not only in a coaching standpoint, but across the board in society. I mean, we had a story this week where the President of the United States, because he said a woman uh, that was, was basically a gorgeous woman, he was wrong for doing that. Oh, absolutely. Catholic schools growing up. I mean, they had rollers, you got smacked on the hands, the butt, etc. But now it's a different ball game. So the current theater is going to adapt to the current environment, which is frankly much more sensitive uh, to people's needs and uh, to their wants. Look at um, you know, junior sports. There's some sports they don't keep score. There are other sports where everybody makes a team and there's no cutting. So it's just a different environment from when uh, we grew up, you know? Well, I mean, if, if you go back to the Bible, and I, I, you know, I'm not trying to find out if anybody is, 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 is working from a, a Christian-centric standpoint, but the theory that is proposed, or the ideal that is proposed, is leaders are basically servants, and what we saw out of Mike Rice and his staff, they were hardly servants. Does, is that part of your teaching, your thinking as a, a leader in this field of 
leadership? 100%. So it's really about two things. Number one, true leadership. And leaders are servants to the people that uh, trust them. That's what makes them leaders. Number two, what's essential is followership. So by the fact that you have to yell, scream, and do really aggressive, inappropriate things, it's not just a lack of leadership, it's also a lack of followership. Bill Daughtry on New York Sports and Beyond with leadership expert Thomas Lavecchia. He is author of The X Factor Selling System. He is also a Rutgers alum and uh, earlier expressed your, your overall embarrassment at the, the events of the past couple of months that led to the firing of Mike Rice. Now, let, let's deal with the bigger picture. Let's see if we can help some leaders uh, now in the 21st century, coaches and, and what have you going what kind of team-building strategies do, do people now most often respond to? Well, the critical point, you have to start with the true foundation, is to identify your mission and vision of your team and organization. Then once you find that you know, vision and that sweet spot of what's important to your organization, then you need to organize um, your approach around that. I'll give you an example. So if we're a faith-based mission, you know, obviously you want to work in that um, is conducive to, you know, better for the society. If you're sitting there having, you know, doing drugs, doing inappropriate things, it doesn't fit the mission. So in short, establish a vision, uh, you want to organize around it, and you frankly want to make sure you're excellent in, in achieving that vision. And that's your sense of purpose, whether it's an organization or even a religion for that matter. Don't go away. We continue our conversation with Thomas Lavecchia concerning the Rutgers basketball scandal and leadership right here on New York Sports and Beyond on ESPN New York 98.7 FM. Bill Daughtry on New York Sports and Beyond with leadership expert Thomas Lavecchia. He is author X Factor Selling System. He is also a Rutgers alum and uh, earlier expressed your, your overall embarrassment at the, the events of the past couple of months that led to the firing of Mike Rice. Did Rutt get it right with the eventual dismissal of Rice and the eventual resignation or dismissal, as it were, of athletic director Tim Pernetti? They got it right, but unfortunately, the second time. I guess they got a kind of a proverbial volume, if you will, in this particular case. Uh, what really tripped up Pernetti was frankly two things. The 